We need to talk about Route 56. Okay, so this is going to be a quickie. I live in Philadelphia, and Philadelphia is a city with a contentious relationship with its own transit system. In the year of our Lord 2019, many cities are making real progress in reducing car dependency and moving towards a transportation system focused on rapid transit. New York City has successfully closed 14th Street to cars and converted to a busway. Denver is building out an electric regional rail system from scratch. And Toronto has upgraded legacy streetcar lines to light rail standards, you know, so on and so forth. Now, Philadelphia, with its narrow medieval streets and dense legacy urban fabric, is instead making more and more concessions to the private automobile. Mostly fruitlessly, of course. Meanwhile, systemic disinvestment in the city's transit infrastructure continues unabated. Uh, bus and train ridership is down year over year while traffic gets worse. SEPTA has tried a few gimmicks to get folks back on buses, like Wi-Fi and USB charging ports. But what actually gets people on the buses and trains, frequency, reliability, and speed, hasn't seen similar levels of investment. Today we'll focus on SEPTA Route 56 and its death by a thousand cuts. Okay, so surface rapid transit may be a bus, a trolley bus, a streetcar, a trolley, light rail, whatever. If it's going to be running on a street, dedicated lanes are useful to maintain schedule reliability and to skip traffic. So, you know, you don't have to wait 20 minutes for a bus that comes every 10 minutes to show up and then have three of them show up all at once. Not all dedicated lanes are created equal, but experts generally agree that the best are in the center of the street right-of-way, which eliminates conflicts with parked or standing vehicles, and which in most cases reduces the distance passengers must travel to cross the street. If this is done with a vehicle on rails, that's light rail, and if it's done with a bus, that's bus rapid transit, or BRT. Now, SEPTA Route 56 runs from the 23rd Street and Venego Street Loop in Nicetown to the Cotman Avenue Loop in Taconi. It's a feeder line for the Market Frankfurt L and the Broad Street Subway. It was a trolley line which ran in dedicated transit lanes in the center of the street for three miles of the busiest part of the route. Those lanes still exist, but the Route 56 no longer uses them. Why? In June of 1992, SEPTA suspended trolley routes 23, 15, and 56 temporarily and replaced them with buses. Uh, route 15 was restored in September 2005, but no other route was. Now, this in and of itself was not the biggest problem. A bus in a dedicated lane is not much worse than a trolley in a dedicated lane. Frequency, reliability, and speed of service could be maintained. But things got worse. Dedicated transit lanes in the center of the street require shelters. On Route 56, these shelters were a legacy design. They're very narrow, they're not well protected from fast-moving car traffic. Rather than rebuild and improve them to maintain service, designers decided to cheap out. Using the flexibility of the bus, stops were gradually moved curbside. In many places, stops were removed for the sake of converting the right-of-way from dedicated transit lanes to left-turn lanes. These changes were undoubtedly made in the name of safety and ADA accessibility and provided neither. Uh, stops were being removed in this way as late as May of 2014, and the only one left in use is at a very busy stop, which is broad and eerie, and this stop's future is uncertain. Curbside stops have prevented buses from making use of the center transit lanes, which now lie vacant. There's a word for this phenomenon, it's called BRT creep, you know, bus rapid transit creep. And this usually describes how busways have features stripped out in the design phase for reasons of cost cutting or to provide more space for cars, you know, until they eventually become just regular bus routes with fancy paint. Uh, another SEPTA project, the Boulevard Direct Bus, fits that mold. But Route 56 is a particular kind of absurdity. It's a frequent bus serving densely populated low-income areas and serving two rapid transit lines, and it has existing dedicated lanes which it can't make use of. This route has the potential to be one of the fastest and most reliable buses on the SEPTA system, and one of the most useful, and it's simply not done. 
Systemic disinvestment over 30 years has slowly, imperceptibly, turned a high-quality light rail line into just another bus. The hardest part of bus rapid transit is securing the political will to convert car lanes into bus lanes. On Route 56, this has already been achieved. Bus rapid transit service could be accomplished by simply moving the buses over one lane. Systemic disinvestment and concessions to car traffic have degraded the infrastructure, but the possibility remains of quickly and easily bringing high-quality transit service to some of Philadelphia's poorest neighborhoods at a very low cost. With a free transfer, you could probably even justify adding the line to the subway map. So why not, you know, just do it?